guys, welcome back. Um, in this episode, I'm actually going to water some plants for you. You know, it's Sunday and I am actually going to be watering my plants. So I thought, why not show you and give you some examples of how to go about watering your plants. Uh, just this morning, my boyfriend and I over breakfast, he made some comment like, I feel like I'm eating in a rainforest. And I thought, why not actually show you the rainforest and show you the rain that I'm going to give it? So here we go. Um, you're probably like, Liz, why do you have like all of these plants in this basket? These are my examples to show you all. And you're also probably like, why is there a bowl of water? We'll get to that. So um, I have a watering can and a measuring cup. And the reason that I have the measuring cup for you guys is because for newbies or beginners, you might want to measure out your water just to be sure that you're giving the plant the right amount of water. Let's get started with this guy. You might recognize him. He is actually um, the one we repotted in my previous video. It's an elephant ear plant. And I figured now would be a good time to show you guys watering. I think I skipped last week's watering because the soil was too damp. So. This week, as you can see here, um, and we'll get a close up for you guys, um, the soil is pretty dry. So I'm going to uh, give it probably about two cups of water. And I say it's really dry because I'm, usually you can put your hand in here. I can eye it at this point, but a good way to test it is to actually take the soil into your hands and you see it kind of crumbles to dust. It's super dry. So we're gonna give this plant some water. Okay, so um, now that we're up close, I just wanna show you again how dry the soil is here. So it's crumbling in my hands. And so that tells me that it's ready to be watered. I'm starting with just one cup of water. Um, and I'm gonna see how that does. And I'll just slowly, you know, pour it near the root. And um, I might give it one half cup more, just cause that's what feels right. And that should do it. All right, so that one's done. We're gonna move that to the side where it belongs uh, over here and I'll fix that a little bit later. Don't look over there. Um, next, I want to show you guys these air plants. So air plants and I have only been friends for like the past year. Um, prior to that, I used to kill them um, all the time. And I don't know back then what I was doing wrong. I think I was not watering them properly. So I did a little research and um, the best way to give your air plants water is every one to two weeks actually just place them in a bathtub. For the purposes of this video, I just brought out a bowl of water and you'll see I like just submerge them slightly in the water. And then I'll let those soak for about like 10 minutes. And that's plenty. That's all that they need. That's all they require. Um, so we'll move on to two different plants. So these are just like some hanging plants I have. Um, I believe these are called spider plants. So first, I want to apologize for the way this plant looks. My cat, Boo, actually got to this plant and chewed off like all of these leaves that look shorter than the others. So it looks a little raggedy right now, but we're, we're slowly but surely returning it to life. So before I get started on um, watering these plants, I wanna show you something because I think this is a good instructional tip. Um, if you watch my last video, I showed you how to deadhead a plant. And so on this plant, um, you can see a couple of dead leaves here and I'm just going to slightly um, pull those out. So I will typically, um, or you could clip them out with scissors. So I typically, when I water, just check them out and see how, how they're doing. And if there's any dead or yellowing leaves, I just go ahead and deadhead them right then and there. Okay, so for this, the soil is pretty dry. I skipped watering last week. And so it's a similar type of soil as the elephant ear plant I just showed you. 
and it's really dry and crumbling in my hand. So I'm probably going to give this like, we'll start with a half cup of water and see how, how far that goes. So you can just slightly um, water your plant, typically aim for the roots or where the roots are going down. A common um, myth is that you need to water all of the soil around the plant and like make sure all of the soil well outside of where the roots are need to be you know damp or um, wet and they actually don't need to be you need to just water near with the root of the plant because that's what's drinking the water so I typically aim for the center of the plant or wherever it's planted in your pot so um and I typically will you know, give it a little water at a time, let it drink down some, um, let it seep through the soil and then continue to give it some water. A half cup for this plant, for this size, was perfect. So I'm patting myself on the back for knowing the exact measurements there. <laughs> so this one is done. Um, and I actually also brought out the the hanging basket that I used, that I placed it in. I actually got this on a trip, I believe in Colombia. And so anyway, um, I decided to use it as a little plant basket. Um, one thing I will note is that your, these plants typically drain a lot of water out. So um, as you can see, this, this tray has just taken up all of the water, it's drank it real fast. So I'm going to dump it out in there and place it back here in this plant basket. And I thought that was just really cute and a good idea to show you guys of how you can like, you know, decorate with some different pots. So I'm going to clean this up and then we'll continue on and I'm back. So you never know which plants are going to throw at you. So um, this is another little baby spider plant. And I actually, uh, maybe in a future video, I'll show you this, but um, I actually took, I planted this about six months ago and I took it from one of these little spiders down here. If you clip this off um, at the root, right here on the stem, you can see like where the root of the plant's growing off the stem. You can plant that in soil and it'll grow. It'll make, a new one. So a lot of the plants I have in my house now are um, my own that just grew. Um, so I didn't have to go out and buy any new ones, uh, which always helps my wallet. So this is a little um, spider plant as well. So the soil in this one is actually very damp from last week, it seems. So I'm going to skip the watering and that is okay. So Sometimes you'll go about watering and you'll be like, I, the soil looks too damp. I'm gonna skip this week and it makes you almost feel guilty about it, but don't be, because it, it's sufficiently watered. So these two are done. Now we'll move on to um, the pothos, which you might also say, hey, that looks familiar, Liz. It's from the first video. So um, this pothos plant um, has really been doing well in its current spot. It's in super indirect light and it seems to really love that. Um, the soil, I've actually not had to water it all that much lately. Um, this week, I'm probably going to give it um, anywhere between a quarter of a cup and a half of a cup of water. I just feel like I skipped it for two weeks and um, well, that's fine. If the plant's telling you that it's you know, the soil is damp, that it's drinking water slowly and it's it's doing fine and leave it be. But um, I don't wanna let it go for too long without water. So, and the soil is, although slightly damp, not as, not as damp as this spider plant. So I think I'll be safe giving it a quarter to a half cup of water. And again, you can just, there's two different pothos that I planted in here. So I'm giving a little bit to each of those and again, aiming towards the center of the pot so that 
to get water to the roots. So I just gave it a quarter to a half cup. I might even do a little bit more. And you know, this just goes to show you that sometimes you gotta just listen to your plants and let them tell you, you know, how they're doing. So if they drink the water really fast and it shoots out into the tray real fast, you know that it was thirsty, I feel like. I, that might not be actually scientifically proven, but it might be something that I just came up with and I'm gonna roll with that. So, so this pothos is done and plant and watered. And last but not least is the succulent. So if you recall from the plant wall video um, I did um, and the q and I, I believe too, the succulent family, they like water every two to three weeks. Um, and that's because they're desert dwellers. And so they don't get rain for long periods of time. And then they get like one drenching down for. So I'm probably going to give this like a half cup of water or so. Um, and it's going to drain out super fast. What I'll do is I'll just hold it over this bowl. Like I said, it's going to drain the water pretty fast. And I'm just going to pour this water slowly, let it drink it it might take a second for the water to drain out. Um, and succulents, like I mentioned, they, uh, you know, you want them to dry out a bit uh, between watering. So next week, this is going to be passed because um, it'll, the, the soil might not be so damp, but it definitely does not like tons of water. So, um, it's drinking this water pretty slowly, which tells me that I might not need to give it that entire half cup of water that I was planning to. Um, instead, I think I've given it enough. So it only took a quarter a cup of water. So um, just goes to show you, you know, sometimes there's no magic number um, to water your plants or do anything like that. You just kind of have to, um, feel them out and see how they're doing. So the reason that I didn't give this the whole half cup is because it was it seemed to be drinking that water rather slowly and I feel like it's probably fine with a quarter cup. And so um, as soon as this is done draining out, I'm going to pull out these air plants and kind of let them uh, drip dry a little bit and then I will put them back in their spot. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was educational for all your plant watering needs. And just make sure that you like and subscribe for more videos and comment below with any questions you might have. And until next time, happy planting.